Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So, first things first, my hair is different. Um, <coughs> oh my god, I'm like choking. Oh, um, pretty much, it's a really traumatic story. Really don't want to get into it, so I'm going to just quickly explain quick. I went in wanting, so if you guys watch my videos, you guys know, I had blonde streaks or blonde highlights with like dark brown hair, right? I went in wanting a balayage where I wanted most of my hair brown and then I wanted some blonde streaks like throughout and somehow I wound up with four inches off my head, um, getting sick, having to go to two different people, not getting what I wanted, spending $450 and still like, thank god, the second people kind of knew, well they didn't kind of know, they knew what they were doing and they fixed me but yeah, I don't know how we got here but here we are. And I was on like a hair growth journey and now I'm back on that journey. So needless to say, I really hate my hair and I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to look at it. I just want to put some makeup on and feel better because I'm just like not happy right now. But anyways, um, today's video is going to be, oh my God, what happened here? A review on the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream um foundation full coverage natural finish foundation i have seen this all over youtube and i didn't even know they were coming out with this i didn't see it on any social media but youtube and i watched a few uh videos on it and i was like i need to try this out I need to see what it's all about a lot of people are saying that they really like it so i'm really excited to check it out and i think it was only available on elf's website because i couldn't find it anywhere else so that's where i ordered it from i got one in the shade fair 120n and then fair 140 warm or w because I couldn't tell online which one I would be, so I figured if one was too light, one was too dark, I could kind of like mix them together and make a little concoction. So that is what we're going to do today. I'm going to pin back my little Shirley Temple hair. And um, yeah, let's get into this video because I'm really excited to put some makeup on because I haven't really worn makeup since I got my hair done and I need to feel better about myself because I just can't stand looking at myself right now. So anyways, if you guys are interested, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let's jump into the video. Okay, another thing really, really quick, I wanna show you guys my sweatshirt. It says Daniel Blend and it is so, so cute. My friend from work who is like such a like big support when it comes to my channel got this made for me because he was like, you need to think of yourself like as a brand and whatever. And I just think this is so cute. So I had to wear it in today's video and represent myself but yeah I just wanted to show you guys because I'm so like I'm wearing my name like on my shirt like I don't know it's so cute anyway so I'm just gonna start with priming first I'm gonna use my Ola Henriksen banana bright primer so one thing I just noticed not just noticed but noticed when I opened this is that this um camel cream has SPF 30 in it which is awesome I wouldn't if I would have known that I wouldn't have put on my SPF I would have just used this but that's awesome in case you guys don't put um, SPF in your everyday sunscreen routine and you are planning on buying this and wearing this and this has SPF which is awesome so I love stuff like that. Alright so another thing that I did pick up from e.l.f. is this, this was on like their brand new like just arrived page along with the camo cream and this is their complexion duo brush and I am a big 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 fan of e.l.f. brushes. They're affordable, they're super soft and I just think that they get the job done so it's like a double sided brush it has this little end right here and then it has like this more like buffing side so this is like I feel like this end is really good for getting like right in the center corner or even like a contour or something so I'm really excited so I think I'm gonna use fair 140 warm it kind of looks like my shade I may have to mix in like a little bit of the other one so it says directions apply one to two pumps of CC cream onto clean skin using our elf complexion duo brush okay cool so good thing that i got this it says wear as a moisturizer and full coverage foundation depending on your needs apply liber liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure reapply at least every two hours so if you're planning on using this as a sunscreen i don't know who would really use it like at the beach but if you are um just reapply it every two hours so i'm gonna pump some on the back of my hand okay so this is what it looks like it's probably like a little too dark, so I'm gonna do like one pump of the Fair 120N. It was so hard to color match on their website. I literally hate color matching online. All right, so I'm gonna mix the two of these together. Ooh, it is really thick. So I don't think you're going to need too much of too much of this. That is for sure. I'm just gonna. Wow, this is thick. 
Whoa, all right, all right. I picked up another sponge because the one, like the marshmallow one that I was using, um, it was really flimsy and even though it said that it was the total complexion sponge, something was definitely different in that formula. I don't care what you say, or the formula or that sponge. Something was 100% different. All right, so I kind of definitely smell the sunscreen. I'm just going to use this to buff this around. It's giving crazy coverage, whoa. And this is also probably too light from what it looks like, but we will make it work. All right, stop. Wow, this is really, a really good coverage, holy crap. And I'm gonna take the um, fluffy side of this complexion brush and just like push it into my skin. So if you have really dry skin, this is not for you unless you're going to put a ton of moisturizer underneath because this is really thick. Like this is thick and it's matte and it is just, it's beautiful coverage. The only place I'm having a little bit of issue is around my nose, like on my actual nose. But I tend to always have some sort of issue there, so I'm not too worried about that. But, I mean, the coverage, you guys, it is insane. Like, I look kind of crazy, but the coverage is there for sure. What do you guys think? Besides, like, ignore my dark circles. But what do you think? Do you see, like, my nose, how it's, like, a little bit... Just kind of like not really sticking to it. All right, so this is how it looks, and I definitely think it looks beautiful for sure. Um, the only thing is the nose, but now that it's like kind of setting, it doesn't look as bad as I think it did before. Um, this I definitely would not set, you guys, because it is um, super, super matte. Not matte, but just super like thick and more on like the drier side of a formula. So I definitely don't think you need to um, set it. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, where is my brush? I'm going to cream contour, well just cream bronze, really, really quick. I'm gonna use my Chanel, Solide de Hande Chanel, whatever it is, it's fancy little bronzer. And I'm just gonna quickly give me some warmth back into my life because we all know that I need it. Wow, looking better already. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to conceal. I'm going to use my Dior Forever Skin Correct because, like, this is the best concealer, like, ever, ever invented. So I'm going to use this to conceal these dark circles. And I'm also going to put it on my nose. I find that no matter what the foundation, I always put, um, a, I'm going to say foundation, concealer on my nose. I am going to use a little bit of a darker shade, too, because I find that the concealer just gives it that extra coverage that it's needed or lacking. So... I love that. I'm just going to use my sponge and buff this out. You guys, I can't believe that I hate my hair so much. I just, so pretty much, long story short, what happened was my hair girl um, is pregnant and she was like, I'm not feeling well, do you mind if uh, so-and-so does it? I was like, yeah, yeah, like, that's fine. Like I've, She's like blown my hair out before I've met her. She's super nice and I was like, you know what, my hair girl... She wouldn't put me in harm's way, like not harm's way, but she wouldn't recommend me to somebody or have somebody else do my hair um, if she knew what was gonna, like, gonna happen or knew that they couldn't handle it because my hair girl knew what I was going for. I sent her a picture weeks ago when I made the appointment and I was like, this is what I'm going for. This is really what I want. So she knew. So I will try to insert a picture so you guys can see what it looked like. But when I mean my hair was like blonde, my hair was blonde. And I went through that phase, I feel like every other girl does, where they want platinum blonde hair. And I went through that about four and a half years ago. And that I had that and I don't want it anymore. I don't want blonde hair. I just wanted some dimension. And I just wanted my balayage to be like down here and like not up here. I told the girl right when we started that um i just want the only piece that i want is my money piece that's the only piece i want to be rooted i want everything else to be um just like from my ear down she said okay you guys when we finished i was shocked i was like what do i do what do i do what do i do and i'm not like a confrontational person and i don't like to make people feel bad like at all 
So I just immediately panicked. I called my boyfriend's sister and I was like, I need like another recommendation because I need to go somewhere like right now and get this friggin' fixed. So I wound up going to this place and I told them, I said, please bring me back some brown in my hair because this is not what I asked for. And they did. They brought back as much brown as like they possibly could, which is great because I was in a pure panic. And when my, when I mean my hair was orange, like this is like brown, like reddish, right? It was orange, you guys. And not to mention, she cut my hair. If we look at old videos of me, my hair was like right above my boob and now it's to here. And I explained to her why some pieces of my hair were short is because I got gum stuck in my hair like a year and a half ago and this side, like a few of the pieces were shorter so that's what she was seeing. But she insisted on cutting it. And I'm just still recovering. I'm trying not to think about it. It was a rough, a rough, rough, rough weekend. Needless to say, it was just not good. Not, not good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with my um, Kylie Jenner, what is this? Translucent setting powder, yep. Okay, right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this bake. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup really quick and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys how everything looks like together and give you guys my final thoughts. You guys can see everything once it is done. So hang tight and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look so let me look up close i was just kind of looking at it like in this mirror but i want to look at it like more up close so i don't hate it like at all i think it covered so so beautifully and i think it really gave me a beautiful coverage the only thing is my pores are a little emphasized but not terribly like i could live with it like they're a little emphasized like right in these areas but i don't think that it looks bad do i think it's like this amazing thing yes and no only because i feel like you if you have dry skin this is not going to work for you like at all and i do suffer from like drier skin especially now that we're in the winter months um i do really love that it does have spf 30 in it so if you kind of wanted to layer on the moisturizer underneath and then go in with this, if you are on the drier side like me, I think it would work for you. I think if you have oily skin, like oil, oily to normal skin, this would be good for you as well. I think the coverage was insane. It is more coverage than most of my like full coverage, like actual foundations, which is just crazy to me. I think this retails for $14, so that's not too, too bad like at all. Um, but yeah, do I think it's something that I'm going to be reaching for all the time? Huh, maybe um, if I'm feeling like I want to put like a lot of moisturizer on, then I would reach for this because it has the SPF 30 and it is bomb, bomb frigging covered. So that is a plus for this right here. If you were interested in purchasing this, I don't think you'll be disappointed by any means. I do think that it is a good drugstore alternative if you want something with SPF and good coverage. I think this would be really good for you. Just make sure that if you are on the drier side, like I said, to kind of moisturize your base and then go in with this i feel like that's the best way for you but i do like it um i will give it a few more tries probably with like different moisturizers and different primers and stuff like that i didn't set it so this is just how it looks not being set and i personally don't think you need to set it um if you're asking me by the way i did set with a dewy setting spray so if you guys are like wondering why I'm looking kind of glowy. It's because I did kind of bring some moisture back into my skin by using the Glow Recipe Watermelon Ultra Fine Hydrating and Glowing Mist because I was like, I need some moisture up in here. Like, I just need it. So I would give this like a 7.5 out of 10, honestly. So it's not horrible. It's actually pretty, pretty good if you ask me. So if you wanted to try this out, definitely go to, I think it's only available on Elf's website, honestly. So go to Elf's website, check it out. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed, honestly. It gave me beautiful coverage. If you guys want to see, this is what my skin is looking like. And I really think that by adding that glowy mist, it did bring a little bit of hydration back and a little bit of dewiness, which I need because... It's winter in New York and my skin is dry. That's all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know down below if you guys have tried it, if you're interested in trying it and all that good stuff. And um, hopefully next time I see you, I won't hate my hair as much as I do today, but no promises. But yeah, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. Wow, that was a really loud clap. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe. And I will hopefully catch you guys in my next video. Bye.